and welcome to the Yugi TV unboxing of Thunderstone Advance Towers of Ruin. It's a brand new expansion set to the popular deck building card game of Fantasy Adventure. Um, it is an expansion set, so all previous editions of the game are compatible with this. Um, it is also a game all by itself, so if you don't have any previous editions, you can pick this up, and play it out of the box, no problem. Last but not least, it's an update to the existing rules, kind of a version 2.0. It includes some brand new card types, brand new playboard, uh, some updates to the existing rules, a couple of tweaks here and there, stuff like that. Um, it's brought to you by the wonderful designers at AEG. If you want some more information on this game or some of their other products, you can visit their website at alderac.com. Um, I'm very excited to be bringing this to you today. Let's go ahead and break this guy open and see what we have inside. Uh, obviously, the first thing that we're going to see here is this awesome outside packaging with this uh, badass fire demon looking guy. And the back cover, a uh, little bit of uh, what we're going to see inside. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and take off this plastic packaging. Alright. Okay. Well, looks like there we have the rule book. Right on top. Uh, read this first. New to Thunderstone. Learn to play guide. New to Thunderstone? Read this first. Learn to play the basics in three easy steps. Here we have step one. Uh, how to set up. Here we have step two. Buying the cards. How the cards work in the village. And here we have step three. Killing monsters. How each of the cards work in the dungeon. Here is the rule book. Um, we've got this uh, badass fire demon looking guy on the front again. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single page on the rule book. I'm just going to show you a couple of highlights that I noticed as I was going through it. The rule book is laid out well. Uh, it goes through the standard uh, how to set up the game, how to unpack the game, um, what comes in the box, so on and so forth. Um, here we have a um, anatomy of the cards diagram. It shows how all of the different card uh, type, types work. Uh, what the icons mean and um, and where they're located. Here we go into uh, some of the different effects that some of the cards have. Um, explains them all real well. Uh, here we have the additional rules, what the familiars, these are horde monsters, trophies, uh, global effects, the guardians, the game ending, uh, thunderstone bearers, uh, curse cards. Here we have some examples of play. Uh, kind of goes through a hypothetical uh, game turn of somebody. Um, how they go, how they can go through and decide what they want to do in the village. Uh, same thing here with the dungeon action. Again, kind of a um, hypothetical uh, scenario. Okay, and here's the good stuff. What's new in Thunderstone Advance? Uh, if you're already familiar with the game, this will give you kind of an idea of what's new and what you can expect if you decide to go pick this up. And here we have a card glossary. Uh, looks like it goes over every single card and kind of goes into some details on how all of the cards play. And here we have a lexicon. If you're confused on what one of the cards say or uh, what one of the terms means in the rules, you can come back here and uh, see the definition and see the explanation. Scenario setups. Here we have a predefined set of cards that you can pull out of the box and um, set up to have kind of a tailored game experience. And here we have some variant rules. It looks like there's a couple of different ways you can play the game aside from the uh, standard way. And last but not least we have Solo Thunderstone. I was wondering why the box said from one to five players. Uh, I guess that's it. It does have solo play rules. Here is uh, the, the, probably the largest uh, addition to the game with this version 2.0 rules. Um, here we have the play board. It's double-sided. Uh, this is the dungeon side. And this is the wilderness side. Um, different places to put all the uh, different piles of cards. Okay, so here we have the inside of the box. Um, like any deck building game, uh, it's mostly dead space, mostly air. Uh, we have, looks like a few, let's see, it looks like seven uh, decks of cards, 
one little package of uh, experience points counters. And a bunch of these wonderful little, oh, there's a, there's another deck hiding underneath. Um, so, yeah, we've got a bunch of these little handy styrofoam dividers, um, space savers. Let's uh, take a look at some of these cards here. Thunderstorm shards here. We got a few villagers, um, spells, and one of the weapons. All right. So what we got in this package? Ah, these are the uh, these are the card dividers. Uh, let's see, monster randomizers, hero randomizers, avatars, familiars. Yeah. So I'm not going to go through the rest of those. Anyway, those are the oversized card dividers. Uh, so the cards. Go in like that. You can, you can read the card type. Uh, makes them easier to find. All right. Let's uh, take a look at this package. Huh. We got uh, undead tree folk. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see scabbard. Let's see that's undead. Uh, the genie. Free level three. All right. I love the artwork on the. Oh. Hey. Look at that. Iblis. That's our cover artwork monster uh, familiars uh, this is a new card type in um, the advance okay I zoomed in a little bit so uh, it's a little bit easier to see the cards go ahead and open up this next package okay here is our, our regular zero level Basic hero. Let's see. Torch. What else we got? Long spear. All right. Undead skeleton. Level one. Shrouded cadaver. I'm not going to read all these names. I'll just quickly show. Dragon monster type. Bunch of dragons here. Oh, there's some more undead tree folk. I just love this artwork. All right. Okay. Oh, got more of those dwarven bear hammers. Uh, Falcon alabast. Uh, Ar Ar Arbalest. Okay. That's a new word. Spear, dancing sword. There we go. All right, more randomizer cards. Use to randomize what, uh, what the cards are going to be for a particular game. Uh, let's see. It looks like we've got the heroes here. They each have different levels here. They level up as you go. Spend experience points to uh, level up your heroes and make them stronger. Artwork's the same. Again, I kind of wish they would have changed the artwork slightly um, between the level 1 and the level 2 and the level 3. Um, kind of would have been nice to be able to see the character evolve um, in the artwork as well as the, um, the attacks. But still, the artwork's awesome. It's really hard to complain about the, uh, the artwork. Um, okay. All right. Looks like this is the last set of cards. Okay. All right. More of the dwarf thief, human thief, wizard. He's actually more of a bard. He's got his musical instruments instrument there, and as you can see, the level one gives each other hero a magic attack. He doesn't actually have an attack of his own uh, at level one. He does get one at level two, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, he's got a magic attack plus two, and he, gives, he still gives each other hero a uh, magic attack plus one, so it's kind of carrying on with the uh, how bards work in a lot of other fantasy games. Uh, more regulars. Uh, okay, yeah, that's all the cards, looks like. Uh, and then the experience, these are experience point tokens. Mark how many experience points you've 
crude. I kind of like how they're all um, in a little baggie. I would expect something like this to come in one of those um, one of those plastic frames that you have to you know twist them and break them all out. But they've uh, pre-broken them out for us, so we don't have to have to worry about that. These are all the heroes right here. You can see there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different heroes that you can play with. 2, 4, 6, 7 weapons that the heroes can wield. 4 spells that they can cast. 6 different items that they can take with them. Um, these are villagers that they can hire from the village to take with them on their trips into the dungeon. And these are familiars that... Uh, that the heroes can gain that give them special abilities if they have a certain amount of experience points. These are all the cards that you'll find in the dungeon. We have the curses here. Really, all the same artwork. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't change the artwork, but they did change the names. And um, they're all attack minus one, but they each have a different way of getting rid of the curse. So there is some uniqueness there, but again, I kind of wish they changed the artwork on that like they did with the monsters and everything else. Uh, so here we have Undead Skeletons, the Genie Ifrits, uh, Cobalt Humanoids, Ogre Humanoids, uh, Undead Tree Folk, um, Corvaxis Avians, uh, Burn Marked Fire, Dragon Fire, Randomizer Cards. These are the Game Ending uh, Thunderstone Bearers. And here we have an Undead Horde. These are all kind of the same monster, but they advance in level as you continue to kill them. And uh, here it is, all that mess uh, put into this nice little package with these oversized card dividers. Um, I have them alph alphabetized by card type, so uh, hopefully that will help make things easier to find. And that's about it. And there you have it, the YouGeek TV unboxing video for Thunderstone Advance Towers of Ruin by AEG. The game retails for $49.99. You should check it out online at alderac.com. My name is Adrian for UGeek TV. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.